WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN with me, your host for the next hour, David White. We've got um, basically a market that's flat on the day, although we opened up lower. Uh, NASDAQ's basically flat. Dow's up about a third of a, of a percent. Uh, probably more interesting out here is uh, crude. We're going to talk about the reasons why on the show. Uh, gold up about three tenths, a little more than three tenths of a percent. So, what is going on? Well, we had kind of a messy open. Uh, a lot of stocks uh, halted uh, for volatility pre market. We're going to get into one that moved fairly big that people are talking about in the den a lot. But, uh, you know, I think uh, when you really get down to it, we're looking for one thing. And that is after the bell tonight, where we have Microsoft, Capital One, Texas Instruments, Intuitive Surgical, uh, F5 Networks. And that kind of just really starts getting the ball rolling for the rest of the week. Um, we have some evidence, and I had it in my newsletter, that something's going on. Don't know what. But certainly the street is not as active as people would think for a market going higher. A lot of uh, uh, street folk, uh, well, the Wall Street folk, not believing it. Uh, it could be something else, though. Could it be all the money coming in for China uh, because their market is closed this week and they're coming over here to play only to leave next week? And, of course, got a few other things uh, that we're getting ready to warm up for next week. Uh, that is the Fed uh, on uh, the last uh, day of January, the first day of February. Uh, that carries us on then to window dressing, fund buying, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we've gotten a little the cart a little bit in front of the horse. We will find out tonight when Microsoft announces. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.